Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys along side, like behind the scenes of filming a video. So I'm going to be filming a video that I'm not breaking the fourth wall. Basically, I'm going to be packing for Hogwarts as if I were going to school there this year. So the train leaves on September 1st and I just wanted to pack and show you guys what I would pack. So yeah, I have been planning this for a few weeks now and have been collecting all the things in the past few days. So my room is kind of a mess right now, but I just want to show you guys what I have set aside, kind of just like generally the mess, and I'm going to show you guys my trunk, what it looks like now, and then um, setting up my camera, and just everything behind the scenes, because there's going to be a lot going into this video, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm going to start out by showing you the state of my room and um, what my trunk looks like now, because it is not how I'm going to show in the video, because it's a little bit too, I'm a fan of Harry Potter, not like... I'm going to Hogwarts, so yeah, let's go over there. So this is all the stuff I have set aside at this point. I have like my toiletries, my carry-on, sh some shoes, although I probably would need more. I don't think I can fit them in my trunk. Then those are all the like clothes and just miscellaneous items that I have. I have my Hogwarts letter there, some notebooks, and then my trunk is over here. So this is a little too set up for what I'm going for, so I'm going to take away the owl and um, put the trunk down, take the robes out of it and the books so that I can start packing like from scratch. And of course I'm going to take away the Slytherin robes because I'm not doing Slytherin in this video. It's going to be Gryffindor because I have the most Gryffindor stuff. So yeah, I'm going to work on putting my trunk down and starting to get the scene set up. Okay, here's the setup so far. Um, yes, I am going to be sitting on a pillow. It is quite uncomfortable to sit on the floor there. And I'm assuming this is going to take a while. So here's what the scene looks like. I'm going to be sitting on the pillow there. And I just have all this stuff here. I'm probably going to line it up like right out of frame right here. This is a little bit in frame, but I think that's okay. And then I have my robes over here. So I'm going to pull those over soon too. But now I have to get ready, so I think I'm just going to change my outfit, put on some mascara, comb my hair, and then I'll be on camera. I'm about to get started filming, and I'm not going to lie, I'm actually a little nervous because I want this to turn out well. Um, I do have a plan, like, in my notebook, and it kind of lists out my backstory, which I'm going to talk about, and then I have to kind of, like, lay out what I'm doing in what order, so... It's gonna be a little rough, hopefully it turns out okay, but yeah, a lot of planning went into this video, so that's why I wanted it to turn out well. But here's the setup. Yeah, wish me luck. I feel like such a fake. <laughs> I was like making all this stuff up and like, yeah, I totally go to Hogwarts. <laughs> so I pack my stuff. Um, I don't, I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Um, I had my headband like 10 minutes before I started filming and then I started filming and it just disappeared. So I can't find it. Um, don't know where it went so hopefully I can find that later but yeah I need to rearrange the stuff in my trunk to make it aesthetically pleasing for my thumbnail but uh, this video better turn out well um, at this point I don't have a good feeling but I'm gonna wait a few days to um, actually edit it because I just sometimes I'm not in the right headspace after I film something to immediately edit it and I have several days before it needs to go up so yeah I I really don't know how this is gonna turn out I hope it I hope it's good I hope it's very immersive into the world of Harry Potter but yeah <laughs> um I guess I'll let you guys know later kind of how editing uh, works like if it turns out well and if I can ever find my headband 
I'd be very sad if I lost it, but it didn't leave my room, so it's got to be in here somewhere. I'll find it eventually. But yeah, I'm going to go get some food and kind of move this stuff out of the way after I take my thumbnail. Um, but I think I'm just going to put my robes on top and set them up like with the um, polo and the tie on them so they look like they're ready to be worn. Um, and then maybe put something else like Harry Potter themed on top or something. I don't know. So I just turned off my light, but this is the thumbnail setup. So I had my robes here, and then I have a few pieces of clothing rolled, and then my head girl badge, wand, gloves, and my headband, and then the end of my quill box. So I took a few thumbnail pictures, and now I'm going to take a break from this video for a few days just to let it cool down. And I'm hoping that it'll turn out all right once I start editing. So I am working on editing the Hogwarts video right now. Um, I just started watching through it and it actually seems really good. Um, I did not expect it to be very good at all just based on like how much I was struggling through some of the um, explanation of the like just basically my backstory in the video. I'm gonna finish editing it. I might take a break and just like clear my head and then try again in a little bit because it is a very long video. I have like 28 minutes of footage I think so hopefully I'm going to try to get that down a bit but it's all talking so I don't want to cut down too much of it but yeah I guess I will update you guys in a little bit when I'm closer to finishing this video. So I finished editing and the video is uploading now. Um, I did make a thumbnail as well so I'm actually very happy with how this video came out. Um, let me know what you guys think. You should definitely check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Although I did already kind of like spoil it. I'm super glad that this video came out because I spent a lot of time on it and um, it was looking a little iffy in there. So yeah, make sure to go support that video. Um, it's very long. It's probably one of the longest videos on my channel, but I like it. It's not like long and boring or at least I don't think. But yeah, make sure to go check it out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing like behind the scenes of how I made that video. So make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosierwoltz and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosierwoltz and my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye.